Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire. It's Dominion Day. We are heading off to the Great Lakes. This scenario is a doozy to start with, but can be gold ticked. Well, at least a start. Anyway, if you don't know, I like to uh, try these out to at least a first handful of uh, tasks before I start recording, which is where I've been. We are starting with 2 million capital. Our starting city is Montreal. We have three competitors, AI level, very hard. Gives you the best score. We will obviously be going for uh, president and all gold. Yes, I'm going to go for it. Uh, pause mode, normal, because it makes editing and uh, talking to you guys a little bit easier. I haven't tried, is it? Uh... Trainiac. Yeah, I haven't tried Trainiac. I think I always called it Trianic. I think that's what it's a play on. But yes, Trainiac, I, I haven't done even away from recording. Game level, hard. Could be medium, but we're going hard. Why not? And we're forced to play Together, as the general. Someone I don't all. think I've played. The hiring of train staff isn't really a setback. That makes no difference whatsoever, really. 20% less track construction is great. Grand T, that's me. Name of your company. Grand Trunk Railway. That is the name of the uh, the railroad out here, the railway. But anyway, yes, uh, part of my name is uh, a nod to the Grand Trunk Railway. Now you know. Please allow me to introduce myself. Watkin. Sir Edward William Watkin. I have travelled here to the British colonies at the request of the Duke of Newcastle. I was entrusted with the weighty task of checking whether the remaining North American colonies could be united into a self-regulating dominion or not. A requirement for this, however, is to take care of the finances of the Grand Trunk Railway. <sighs> and after a first glance on the balances, I am only conditionally able to express my horror in an adequate manner. You have been predestined by me to lead the Grand Trunk Railway into the future. To begin with, I have to make sure to myself that you are capable of this task. Nowadays, it is so difficult to find good staff. So let us start with something simple. The connection of additional towns seems to be tactically and economically obvious to me in order to clean up this mess. It's a toss-up whether that was a longer intro than my own, which is impressive, if it is. Oh, there we go, some nice relaxing music for the start. Uh, what I was doing at the beginning, while he was waffling on, was deleting their mess at the beginning. What I'm going to do is show you how I start, but I'm going to load up a uh, the one I do in between this bit and uh, when we come back because getting the the initial layout uh, is pretty straightforward we're, we're going to be connecting grand lac victoria seg segwenny segwenny i don't know he does say it so i'll learn from uh, his pronunciation quebec and montreal as well as buy out this wood this wood and maybe that would later uh, yeah possibly it's really cheap the wood we're we're exporting wood is the the deal here now we obviously have to uh, connect up all of these cities as that is our tasks and uh, we also need to connect up these two um just because we can on this because we can fit in a standard size train station there and it gets both of them uh, so that will be connected up just there i mean i guess i could build them can't i it doesn't really matter i'll give you a rough idea of how it goes and then we'll get to the uh the actual start layout with a few trains i've set up because it, there's a lot of downtime in this and it's a lot of wiggle jiggle to get all this set up and uh just sat right and spend the exact right amount of money but we're just going to be doing something along those lines and connecting up there keeping our grades to a minimum but uh, balancing it out with uh, for instance this here 
no bridges so we can go with three four percent grades the trains do handle it given an our start is in 1861 they're pretty beefy we haven't got to start with the baby baby trains 277 to hook that up the reason we need to set up uh, the logging here as well as the grain as those will be required to get our towns growing and this one in particular needs to grow uh, given the tasks that come after that i'm going to set up a, a, a very simple layout just so you can see the next tasks and then we'll load up the uh, the the wiggle jiggle layout technical term guys technical term they are tr small train stations we're putting in that's all you need to start with oh yes we need to uh, set all this up don't we uh, i'm not going to go overboard with it it's it's going to be way more pricey than i end up getting uh, with my ideal setup it, i by no means the best way to do it the first line is established Soon, we will have to take care of moving more people into these remote areas permanently so that these lines will stay profitable. All right, there's the, there's the basics, just so we can see the next task, and he's going to waffle on, no doubt. Good. Thank you. Now let us concentrate our attention on the supply and growth of towns. Sadly, the colonies are limited in their means of production. Many required commodities have to be imported, as there are no suitable industries. In Montreal and in Quebec, native commodities are being exported, and in turn, foreign quality goods arrive. The exchange rate is not quite lucrative, but the only option for the moment. Supply the people with everything they need. Only that way you can ensure the survival of new railroad lines. Okay, so this is our start layout, just as the music gets going. That's wonderful. And uh, it, it's pretty much what I did before the uh, waffling from the AI and just a little bit after. We set it up roughly how it needs to be, then I tidied it up. Lots of wiggle jiggles, lots of them, which is why I edited out the building of this. It would have probably taken two episodes, so this gets us going with a setup and uh, I can go over it while we wait for our funds to head up there we're in the import export business trade centers in Quebec and Montreal this is uh, one for one on wood for beer and uh, this one is a 3.8 for 2.5 not so great uh, this one's actually kind of nice it will make you a bit of money we do have snow approaching us in uh, late December but Montreal doesn't get affected for as long. We've got uh, everything hooked up and tidied up, spent as much as possible. We do have a train to add in on this line here as soon as we can afford it uh, to take into Saguenay there. And uh, our trains are going to cost an, a, a fortune. I would like to get it set up though. It's going to go from Martin Farm. It's going to take some wood for them. We need to get Saguenay growing uh, fairly rapidly. That's the plan anyway. Martin Farm will get you on wait until full because eventually you'll be sat there. We may turn the wait until full off depending if we get a backlog of uh, trains heading in, which we'll go over our, our trains. We've got three trains. Oh, there we go. Add locomotive. I can show you. The music's beautiful. Right. We've got three passenger trains running from each of the eastern cities. Saguenay, Quebec, and Montreal along this main line. They're our money earners, and they are express, well, passengers and mail only. They could be mixed, but we I, I don't want to take any goodies away from these two, Quebec and uh, Saguenay. We've got to get these growing as soon as humanly possible. As soon as they can tick up to beer, they can get beer from Montreal, which will be absolutely marvellous. Security Guard is going to be good on our shortest runs. For now, that's going to be the one from, yeah, Baker Chop into Montreal. You're just picking up. So that's lovely. Uh, you'll be taking us a bit of profit there, or 5%, was it, extra, until they level up. Bandits, we don't need to mess with the AI at all. 
no, they're not going to, going to get involved with us. It's also quite a bit to spend when what we've got to do initially is just get our trains up and running. We have a train running, there he is, with our first bit of meat. And we're going to duplicate him and get him underway right now. And that is to get all of this delivered. The key to the start of this and to get gold ticks is uh, not so much a luck of members of staff, but when you do things. And uh, this layout sets us up kind of nicely. It's still a bit tight. Uh, we could obviously get bad luck, such as bad weather and uh, random breakdowns at horrible times. But providing we keep an eye on everything and we make sure that Quebec is fully stocked with their wood and they can keep making meat is, is ideal. We have, uh, don't signal mode, we have three running at the moment. We are going to duplicate. And we're going to get another one running into Quebec. How much wood do you have currently? Plenty of stores. We want to get those stores in before end of December in the snow. I thought about setting up warehousing, but I think that's a little uh, too expensive early on. So instead, I've I've just gone just gone my usual route with a, a fairly fluid network that we've got here. Parker Farm's kind of key for Saguenay here because they need grain. We'll take a look at their goodies. I think they've already got a delivery, yeah. Uh, they only need 0 0.3 a week. So it's roughly what the, the train route does. Um, wood, meat, they've got plenty of that in stores now. If they don't grow, though, their demand isn't enough to uh, hit this deadline that we've got. That I was hoping they were going to grow before it snowed. That isn't the case. We do need to keep a bit of money in our back pocket so that we can get this growing and then send beer in and uh, boost it. But it's, it's sort of stalled out, which is a little strange. It shouldn't have done. Oh, no, they are kind of growing, aren't they? Yeah, there we go. They've just boosted now. I think we'll be all right, guys. I think we'll be all right. We've got everything moving at about the right time. Do I want to send another train into them? Do you know, it might be worth it since we've got the money and then we can delete one that's coming back like this one. Let's duplicate him and, and start him loading and then we'll delete the right one, that one there. That just gets him a spot in there. What we don't need is a bunch of trains all stuck in there. We do have the supplies. This is the demand thing. Yeah, we do have the supplies. They are growing, though. What we need them to do now is, is tick up to, which they are doing, tick up to 20k, and then we can get this train underway. So we'll set up the rail line. We'll keep it on automatic. So they'll, we're going to need passengers and mail from everywhere. So we'll let them do whatever they need to do. And as soon as we see them grow which I'm hoping is going to be soon. I don't think we're going to beat the winter weather. No. Uh, there they go. They just grew, didn't they? Automatic. That should be it, shouldn't it? Automatic. Saguenay grows. Let's get you some beer. I said, let's get you some beer. Excuse me? Where? What? What's going on there? Let's try that again. You grew. You should be asking for beer. I guess I was too quick, guys. Let's do that again. Montreal to Saguenay. You you need beer. Lots of beer. No, we need you on automatic. Will they do it this time? There we go. Perhaps because I was building the line before they grew. They might have blown it just there. We don't need saboteurs. Don't need any of this. I'm going to leave that alone until we actually get involved with the AI. AI, but that that's usually later on, isn't it, in the scenario? Is what I've found. We do have a load of trains coming in. We're going to keep topped up on our wood, thankfully. We have one heading up from the, the southern wood as well, which should keep going. We've got our beer on the way. Uh, that's another one heading up 
from uh, Baker chopping there. The, the snow's already here. It's already an issue, guys. It's already an issue. What we don't want to do is take any meat from here. We could obviously take it down. Uh, do these need it yet? I don't think they do. Yeah, they do. We could take it down there, but uh, that would obviously steal from their stocks. And given how tricky it is at the beginning to get them making meat and storing meat, it's uh, it would be a little bit silly, perhaps. It might we might end up shooting ourselves in the foot repeatedly doing that. We can take beer. Mm, we could take beer to Quebec and block them from uh, bringing meat back though so we could have a mixed service doing that the same with with these guys they are dropping because you'd have to set up this which is money we don't have and it's a, it's snowing anyway so setting it up now wouldn't be a good idea yes we're going to go this path i would like to get these two trains early on so we're going to go with uh, the one we just got, Express Trains, then the Caboose, which we might use, then the Dragon, and then that will unlock this for us. Uh, we're blocked off. We've got to get unlock three, not including that one, I believe, because we're one of three at the moment. The weather is quite more than just an annoyance. No getting through for the locomotives. Nobody will move to this area if the supply is not guaranteed year-round. Well, no problem that an alert mind cannot solve. Can you see the old warehouse close to Saguenay? We will use it to pile up supplies in the future. These supplies can reach the city year-round, and we can avoid a shortage. Connect the warehouse with your tracks and stock up the necessary commodities there so that they will be delivered to the people of the city over time. As he was talking about the warehouse that we're supposed to supply, I bulldozed it. And that was on purpose because it's a large standard warehouse, which we don't need that capacity early on. And obviously it didn't have the signal controlled on it, which I don't think it had anyway eh, when this was released. So we saved a bit of money. We got a bit of money in the bank and we got ourselves a nice uh, signal controlled warehouse meat and no, not cotton and beer that was a misclick and furniture probably so we can start taking stuff from uh, Grand Lac Victoria when we can afford it uh, where, where's furniture anyway is it down here there we go down there uh, there's not much we can do uh, our next task is to deliver to the warehouse. They will pass it off, but I'm trying to get them to deliver as much as possible direct. And obviously, while the snow's happening, nothing's happening. <laughs> Not really, anyway. Only down south. This might be useful, though. We, as we could use a spike, see what Don has for us, and uh, we'll we'll go from we'll go from this situation. Yeah, ah, uh, the snow. And you always start where it's snowing. It's like they planned it that way. That should be a good start for us in there. Uh, yeah, we've got nothing we can really do. Uh, are we out of wood? I mean, we could upgrade this, couldn't we? Or we could build this. I, I'm going to focus on the area that matters at the beginning. So we can get plenty of stocks and not have to worry about running out down there. Uh, we do have our two trains now running into Montreal. We have our backup train which is actually stalled up here but uh this should free up before the end of january around uh, quebec station uh that is beautiful uh, is it well yes i mean it's it's a freebie really fortunately we had enough money in the bank i mean we're not going to be making much money at the moment i think we we stole a few things there didn't we what did we get was it? it nearly broke the game i think we got uh, i think they were both in here then weren't they did we get one of these back way back here oh we might have done we might <laughs> we might have got that one that's handy because these all beyond what is that 
1830 to 1860 are all 300 so if we got those that's fantastic nice but that's not going to help out our situation here that was just a, a money thing wasn't it and uh, it wouldn't matter how much money we've got at the moment our trains are not moving uh, right oh can we get you with a conductor on before you get in there and get us a bit of extra money more money the merrier uh, I do want to change this to a bigger station when we can afford it and so we link into the grain and the wood and then we can start taking grain and wood into Victoria there Grand Lack I don't know what the whether you just say the full name uh, we've, we've got to keep uh, stocked up on beer which we have plenty of wood at the moment and a decent amount of beer I'm still debating on whether to take a train to Quebec or not um, they, it might even be worth taking an extra train up to Saguenay but they are growing fairly rapidly uh, yeah they don't have their first beer delivery yet that's the one that's stuck in the snow down here because snow plows not a thing uh, two miles an hour why not we won't be having a uh, a snow journey for the end video we've got another train heading out full of meat what did we get stoker sure that's good for our express trains. Our trains are freeing up in the southerly direction. Uh, yeah, uh, if you get along with the other guy, or being different will work perfectly. Do we want to get another meat train running this early on into the warehouse? It's kind of tempting. It pretty much rules out the second train coming back. Uh, but we do have our beer heading in, which is lovely to see. We'll keep an eye on this. 0 0.6, they are eating it pretty rapidly. Uh, maybe the next 80,000, I'd like to put a, a maintenance yard on here to take some of the pressure away from Quebec because we're going to have some issues otherwise. Once we're not overly bothered with how much meat we have in here, we can start a mix service from Montreal. I guess we could we could start a passenger service down there uh, or we could do the obvious perhaps we could go like that automatic and then just refuse any meat which will at least at least give them beer which we're not anywhere close to running out of we'll put you on our another passenger train there we go yes extra speed down the main line why not how many trains do we have running this now we have is that five five i guess we could go with six now that it's level two make sure we do not run out of wood because that would be absolutely awful there we go get you running and we could probably do the same here i don't know how much wood you've got you have 13 especially since you're going to be taking a lot of beer uh, but are you going to struggle? You might. It is extra money though. You've broken down anyway. Yeah, do you know what? We'll try it. We'll get another one. No, we won't. We're out of money. Uh, maybe. We'll leave that as a possible maybe. You can see there's not the demand now. We have the meat in stock. But we don't have the demand from Saguenay. So what we'll do is probably delete the other meat train now we do have a research point we'll get us the caboose now we'll wait for 200 points and we'll unlock the dragon which is faster freight trains more powerful freight trains well you don't need to go back i'm gonna delete you yeah there we go and are we we're at 24 of 35 so let's see if we can't get one running into here and uh, we'll see what that does for us oh great only there we go guys first of the series i'm sure we'll see plenty more of those and uh, you should load up fully once you've got space to get out there which might be okay like this why well you should be coming out now oh i didn't see you there look at that sneaky it's a yeah we need to build a uh, a repair station up here don't we because they're all repairing down here everybody's repairing down here 
Uh, we do have some beer on the way in um, at some point this year. Will you let that? There we go. Oh, full on meat. Lovely. We may let him go early, depending on what the numbers are up here in Saguenay. Uh, yes. Well, not in Saguenay, but for this. This would take us 28 at the moment, wouldn't it? Without the warehouse train. Because you've got four on board. You might not load any more at all because it's probably counted these. I'm not sure whether it would actually count those as part of this. So we could send it on its way and then switch that to a uh, a warehouse train. We don't need a reporter, do we? I'd like some office personnel. That would be great. Yeah, should we, um, should we lighten the load on Quebec there and get us a, a warehouse a maintenance yard at Martin Farm? That will... That will stop some of our trains from needing to repair in Quebec. Which is going to be key. Otherwise, trains are not getting in and out. We've still got plenty of meat, though. Uh, what are the stocks like? We see we've run out of wood. You do have five on you now. Really? That's interesting. That takes you 29. Um, I guess we'll sit you there. It's, it's March the 18th. I would like to get it done as early as possible. We might send you off like now. It's, it's a little risky. We'll delete him once he's got there. What are you? You're Martin Farm. Yeah, we've got a right snarl up down here, haven't we? Although that's a passenger train heading back down to Montreal. That That's good. That will keep, uh, that will keep them happy, won't it? All of our our cities that are dealing with that an inventor a day oh actually that's kind of cheap isn't it let's take that let's have some more points we've got 70 points we're on zero we get 40 per month you ain't got to worry about about those points you got five at the moment do you know you might go well you are getting close i think once he drops off into here uh we'll we'll let him go and see how much is passed over to Saguenay. Uh, we are, yeah. The warehouse one, you'll be pleased to know, is, is fairly easy. It's a little bit bizarre. It counts extra ones when they're passed between each other, which is, I don't know how that works. Uh, how many you got on board now? Well, now you've got six on board. It's already March. Maybe you just go. I think that would be enough, wouldn't it? Six and whatever you pass into it. Six would take us to 30. Yeah, perhaps we wait and see what he takes. I, I might have needed to do that train a little earlier, but we, we might be living on the edge a little bit here. Yeah, just a touch. Do I need, uh, do I need one down here? Well, actually, it might be at Parker Farm. I did set up a train, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, but I didn't add it. I ran out of money. So it might be a good idea to add that in now. Get some grain down to Quebec. We have another point to spend. Unfortunately, we we don't want to spend it just yet because we want to unlock the dragon. Another express engineer. That's what we'll call those. Power ones. Do you get along? Well, indifferent. We'll absolutely take that. What's going on down here? Do do I just want to send you? You're almost done anyway. It looks like you'll be going. I might just send him. Yeah, let's send him. Go, 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 go. Maybe? I don't know. Are you going to pass any over? I feel like he's going to pass some over. 27? By the time he gets there, it might be spot on, mightn't it? I don't think he's going to get any more. Now, I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him. Let's just uh, drop that off and get you gone and what we'll do is we'll duplicate you and get you going there we go right we'll have to wait for the i think the passenger train to leave there the one heading to quebec uh to uh, grand lac victoria it's not heading to quebec that would be the shortest journey in the history of trains i don't know what you do you just pull out and pull back in again 
We might get a spot in the platform here. Again, not sure. We've got a, a bit of luck. We've got to rely on him not being held up. Uh, to, is that, might, that might take us over, wouldn't it? Exactly. Did we leave that about perfect? We should fill up with meat here, which should hopefully deal with the, this bit of it. Yeah, because that'll be eight, won't it, if he loads to full. Oh, he's one short. Why is that? Are we run out? We run out. But we're dropping off wood. Oh, it's beautiful. It might not be a, a big enough to delay to worry about, hopefully. Right, research. Yeah, don't look. Uh, we're going to keep clicking the research, aren't I? Can we afford this? This would... Mm, actually, no. We're going to delete that shortly. It might be worth setting that up properly. There we go. We've got more meat going to the warehouse. So that will be that achievement or task done. We do have the the other warehouse one coming back. Yes, we do. We can change the Montreal one to actually take meat from here. Once, once we figure out whether we're going to get that in time. Uh, we got 30. Oh, I could have let him go sooner, couldn't I? Let's fast forward it. Just see where we're sitting there. Well, actually, let's not. Let's take a security card. And we'll put him... Uh, do we have them all on here? We do not. We'll put you on there. It might be worth... Might be worth setting up another one of these. Mine's in it now. We've got the money for it. Uh, are you... Oh, are you out? No. No, you're just not uh, just not needing enough, are you? Yeah, that's one for one. It'll be fine. We'll send some beer down to uh, Grand Lac once they've grown again. They've shrunk down to silly amounts. Oh, you broke down in the station. That's unpleasant. Where's our train? Right, you're heading in. We've got no other trains in the platform, so you should slide right in. We've got a stoker. Um, We're going to delete him, I think. We've got two trains running this now, yeah. He's just in there for the achievement. It's May already. That's a little worrying. Uh, we're going to overcook it, aren't we? We're going to overcook our meat. It's well done. I'm hoping it's early enough. I was hoping to get it done by April. It wasn't far off. Well, let's see, guys. Uh, it's going to drop off that full load now into Saguenay. Can we get a gold tick to start with? It would be kind of beautiful. Uh, oh, it's, it's great. <laughs> and it looks like uh, we should get this one then. Uh, this one's uh, this second one should be quite a few months after after the first one, guys. First gold tick of the series. We are not going to include those two, but uh, I will save it there. And uh, well, actually, should we get you in as well? We've got this money to spend, but it's going to be up this end. And uh, once you get in there. And then we can see what our new tasks are. He's going to pull into our station and drop off a bunch of goodies. Uh, what did we get? Uh, none of those. None of those. We don't care about those. And just make sure we get a gold tick for both. And that'll be the perfect start to uh, a new series. And we'll get on board one of our trains. Obviously, I'll save it because we're well, going to be... Well, it seems oh, like I've expressed myself sufficiently and another one. the basics pile up supplies for the winter and take care of the settlements so that they can grow. That way, you will make this part of the Grand Trunk Railway profitable. Well done. Thank Less you. refreshing than your <laughs> progressions are news coming from the rebellious colony, <clears throat> the USA. The tensions among the single states are obviously rising. All right, guys, we have started Golden. Which is great to see. And it was all about timing. And uh, the, the layout helped a little bit. But uh, spend absolutely everything on as smooth a network as you possibly can. As we judder around everywhere. Uh, I'm not, obviously not talking about the little glitches in the rail. But uh, more that traffic keeps moving. But the money you start with. I, I would say that's close to as good as you get in it. Obviously, you could go single-tracking places, but I'm just over the moon 
that we are all gold so far. We have it all to do though. Grand Lac Victoria, which is our destination right now on this train, is also our destination for our next task. Totally on purpose. And uh, there's an example of us slowing but not stopping, which is great to see. A little wiggle there. We're, we are going to tidy up our network. Guys, it's good to be back. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.